So, so you, you, you turned on the lights and you decided you didn't like uh, what you saw, huh? Well, where were you when they tried to feed you bite-sized pieces of hell and told you they were easily digestible? They even listed the nutritional value on the wrapper. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Well, had I gone for the wonton soup instead of deciding on lentil that night, I probably would have ended that chapter right where it was. I walked past the Chinese restaurant my friend said was good, and I thought about taking out some wonton soup, like some chicken uh, broth would do me some good. Then I decided, nah, 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 nah. I walked away smelling some sweet herb somebody was smoking and leaving a trail behind in the night air. <gasps> some sweet old man called after me and said, was it good? Was it good? He was pointing to the uh, people eating in the restaurant. Well, I was just checking it out, standing out there in the cold, reading through the menu. I wasn't eating nothing yet, but I told him, I don't know, I never ate there. He said, we should uh, have something there sometime. I smiled at him, thinking about what it would be like me and this old guy over a bowl of soup for Christmas. I passed on it. I walked in the direction of the Korean market, following the trail of that herb, still in the air and still unseen, though still in the air. Inhale, inhale. No progresso, only Campbell's, which I wouldn't buy. So soggy alphabets in a spoon, eating your words, your curds. No way. I, uh, some kind of help. Health Valley Minestrone was as close as I could get that night to any real soup. She put it in a brown paper bag and I was on my way to a quick fix and a quiet night, or so I thought. And who was she? The she who put it in the bag, someone I gave my money to who spoke no words and blended into the cash register and the crowded counter in the garish glare of the never closes cityscape. No escape, no escape here. Ten steps down the street, heading further down to west, I hear my name in the night. There he is. There he is, tall as he is in his black boots and looking ever taller and, and everything black and still wearing black always, but for the moon whites of his eyes popping out like honeydew, juicy, sweet, and, is, and, and ripe, and oh, baby, I want some. And it's my eyes popping now, seeing him in this neighborhood, which is not his, it's not his that he strolled over to to look me up from out of nowhere and, and right away. It's hand holding and oh baby, I'm so glad to see you and walking in the same rhythm, hip to hip, I know I'm a goner now. A drink later at Zeke's and I'm having such a good time. When the moon hits you in the solar plexus, makes your heart as big as Texas. Baby, 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 call home me. Well, I gave him my can of minestrone for Christmas. I even signed it. I needed a better pen, though. The ink didn't take too good on that label. Now, how was it I had chapter one on me when I went out for a soup? I just wrote it before I went out. I guess I was going to read it over my bowl of soup in whatever restaurant, so I went and I read it to him. After one drink, feeling good on an empty stomach and a beer, or whatever I had, it's all too long ago now to remember those details anymore. And did he buy? And, and did it even matter? I mean, buy the beer. Did he buy the beer? Who the fuck cares? That full moon, it was a full, full moon, that unblinking eye out staring the alley cat, and the alley cat was out staring at it in that ancient alleyway. The wind of changes blew my soul to another migration. It was tricycle time. Close to the ground, close to the ground, in dirt, the wind blew a lightning bug into the laughing girl's mouth, and I was was that laughing girl. <laughs> Utterly delicious! utterly delicious. She wolf, he man, she bays at the dock of the moon, sits at the bench in the square, parks at the curb of her appetite with such a hunger for the highs and lows of the end zone of this bald field of overgrown with weeds and crickets. We were sailing along on moonlight bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could hear the voices singing. They seem to say, Moonlight Bay. Trailing along, wailing a song about love's labor got lost. Corn is tossed. Hot tail it out of here. You drinking the wrong beer. 
Love's labor, my albatross. How you feel around my neck so wet your kisses. Chap me not with your stick or I'll be needing some Susie and maybe the strawberry kind next to the chicklets. Moonlight Bay, my baby chicks, let me rooster you out of this cockfight. At the clock of the moon, on all fours, on all fours, on all floors, the tachometer stares me in the face of my heavy foot, wanting to get there, wanting to get there, wanting to get there, play and beat the clock. She wolf, he man, together they milk fed their plan. No veal, no chicken, no sheep. Sell your soul on Second Street, I second the motion. But first, a word from our sponsor. By the light. <laughs> Of the silvery moon <laughs> By the light of the unblinking, unsinking Corona, Begonia, my ruby yacht Oh, tomorrow I'm gonna sail to thee And I'm gonna take us some honey and plenty of money Unblinking, unstinking, incensed owl Wise as a potato chip With bags under the eyes of freshness And salty crunch to munch My belly laughs With empty calories and the wind cries Mary on 2nd Avenue This moonlight makes me This moonlight makes me This moonlight bay Joseph What a stable This instability is a debility Christ, what a night <laughs> With the unfeathered spirits and the untethered mentalities walking their fatalities. It's hard to buy a newspaper without dropping a quarter and stepping on a face. Even if it's on the cover of a rolling stone, it just lays there on the sidewalk next to some rusty can opener. <gasps> Look here, there's about 75 pairs of white rubber shoes, approximately three quarters in length, neatly in a square on the sidewalk of 2nd Avenue, a dollar a pair, little doll shoes. I bought a pair, I gave them to somebody for a birthday present, along with a miniature harmonica called a little lady. It's a great thing to wear around your neck, ready to blow at a moment's notice. Better than an albatross. Thank you. <laughs>